Hey guys, look at this mop on my head. I've had a persistent headache for a long time. I got it checked out, I'm working through it, going to chiropractor, massage, all of the things, drinking lots of water, yada yada boom. But I can't wear my hair up for long amounts of time. It's officially long enough that I could tuck it into my waistband. I didn't even know my hair would grow that long. I made an appointment to get it fixed, but the lady's not available until the end of July. I'm gonna tie it up now though so it's out of my face. That'll do, pig. That reference is so old, people are gonna think that I'm being offensive towards myself. I'm not. So today we are going to try and attempt to become a relatively quick peachy dewy girl. I'm just putting some moisturizer under my eyes just to give myself a nice palette. You know what I'm saying? What moisturizer are you using, Marie? Oh, let me show you. This is the 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream. And I took nail clippers to the top of it because I'm a weirdo like that. I like the sensation of clipping through plastic apparently. And then I'm going to use my face moisturizer too, or maybe not, because maybe Sadie walked away with it. That girl, she steals all my lotions and potions. Where did it go? Who am I being right now? I think I'm being... Where did it go? I think I'm being Brittany from Bits of Paradise being Harper. <laughs> That's who I'm being. This is what I currently use to moisturize my face. I like it. I've used it for a long time. I've talked about it before. I like that it has the SPF in it, but you know what? I'm kind of ready to explore some new territory. Does anybody have an anti-aging moisturizer that they just love? If it has SPF in it, that would be great too. Okay, if you're utterly confused as to what this video is about, then that means you didn't watch my last video where I talked about how I have a deep, deep desire to become Peachy Dewey Girl. I have this idea in my head of this perfect look that just looks fresh like the morning sun. It's the girl who always has that little glimmer on her cheek when she flashes a little smile at you and it just warms your heart and makes your day. She's often found outside in her garden gathering sunflowers in one of those long woven baskets and she'll bend down to pick up a ladybug and watch it as it climbs along her finger. I have high hopes for how makeup can transform my being. So I went to Christy and asked her if she had anything that could help me with that and she gave me a whole peachy dewy kit. This is me personified in a makeup bag. I love it. Um, it also has coffee spilt on it, which again, that's me. I'm in there with my little family living my best life in my perfect wooded retreat with my little homestead surrounded by my garden and whimsical bits of nature. Doesn't it just bring you in? However, I don't love all the things it's filled with. I'm currently just using things that I got in my old Ipsy subscription, which I have since canceled, and I just mash them into my face whenever I want to wear makeup. So now I have some things that um, Christy actually picked out for me, and I'm hoping to have a little bit more of a cohesive look. This is all the makeup I own in the world, and it's why I could never be a makeup guru. I have a thing about needing to use products to completion, whether I like them or not. So the makeup collection rooms that beauty gurus have, just it would just make me feel like everywhere I went throughout my day, I would just feel the burden of all the beautiful products that I may never touch because I'm one human and there's so much of them and only one of me. This is just the right amount of makeup for me. I just wanna be a peachy dewy girl. Let's just start going. I will try and say what I'm using as I'm using it. This is a Intensio Nespresso. It's a little bit cold, disappointing. This is not going to be a tutorial of any sort. In fact, I'm probably gonna frustrate you guys with my application. I just can't care that much. Girl who grew up in the 90s Marie would say that you should use a concealer that's a shade lighter than your foundation and it goes on first before your foundation. But girl who got educated by RBK is using a concealer that's a little bit darker. I still don't understand why that's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. And it goes on after my foundation, correct? I don't know. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. Right now, you're my mirror. And you're not a good one, I can't tell what's going on. Let's use this. It feels nice and silky smoothy. Doesn't feel like I'm caking it on. Christy stared at me in fascination when I did my makeup at her house in that last video where I was not attempting to be peachy dewy girl. I just wanted to use bold colors since I was at her house. Every time I've ever tried to use like blushes and pinks and things on my eyes, I really just look like I've just gone super rashy. Just a real bad case of pink eye or I spent a good 10 minutes grinding my knuckle into my eye. It doesn't look like it does on other girls where they just look so beautiful. And so I wanted to attempt it. I didn't do a good job while I was there, but it was fun to play with all of her stuff. But Christy stared at me the whole time that I was doing my foundation because she said if she uses her fingers and not a beauty blender or a brush or something, the um, foundation just sort of smears around and doesn't blend in. But she agreed that mine looks fine. So 
I'm taking her stamp of approval and running with it. Okay, this is the Catrice Cosmetic Last 12 Hours High Coverage Concealer. Again, first I'm in Amazonian clay and now I'm in super high coverage concealer. That's okay, let's see where it takes us. It smells so good, you guys. Oh, I forgot to say the color of the foundation is in light or light neutral and the concealer is in nude beige. That's on point for Peachy Dewy Girl. In my mind, she's a lot of neutral and nudies. Another thing she gave me is this gorgeous brush set. I don't even know if I can tell you what it's called though. Can you read that? And I love that the set is also peachy dewy. So I've been thinking about how influencers are kind of settling into niche niches, niche niches, niche niche. Words are weird. The other day, Christy said clasps. And then she said, listen to how that word happens. Clasps. What clasps? Every time you say it, you feel like you need to say it again to fix whatever just happened to your face, but it is what it is. Anyways, it feels like YouTubers and Instagram people and everything are really finding their, their niche. Makeup gurus, plus size try on hauls, debt free living, by the way, Lydia Sen on Instagram is my favorite inspo person for that. She's just real down to earth and I love her so much. And I don't have a niche at all, which is fine. It did make me wonder, what could I be passionate about enough to create a niche for? And the only thing that I could think of that I actually love and adore enough to want to talk about it all the time in every single aspect of my social media is my ideal life of living on farmland and tending to animals and raising my children with their hands in the earth and learning how to grow our own food and canning and from scratch recipes and all that kind of stuff. And I've always held myself back from going straight down that path because I don't live on farmland. And I don't really know how to do any of those things. Most of the people that I watch, which is pretty much exclusively homesteading channels these days on YouTube, they're really experts at it. They know when their soil needs more or less nitrogen, they know not to post a picture of a pretty butterfly on Instagram because it's actually some horrible cabbage eating, egg-laying moth. That's so pretty. And so it's held me back from that. But really, guys, it's legit all I care about. And if you haven't noticed, I now have a cohort, because Christy, who could have cared less about gardening or any of this stuff a couple of years ago, she's on board. And she's in the market for property, so even if I never get my own farmland, that girl is gonna get enough that I feel like I could build a little cabin in the woods and she wouldn't even notice I was there. This is the gorgeous eyeshadow palette she gave me, and it's funny because almost everything she gave me is Tarte, and I like it a lot, so maybe I'm a bit brand loyal. It's called Clay Play Volume 2. No, 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 no. Peachy Dewy, not Clay Play. That's all right. That's so pretty, though. So let's go. What do we do first? I have no idea. I've never had a hooded eye before, but I feel like that's happening a little bit here, and I don't know how to deal with it. So what I normally would have put in my crease before kind of gets lost in the fray. <laughs> I'm gonna take ember into the corner here a little bit. See, part of my dreamland of having a homestead, part of that is a homestead wardrobe. I want to live in garden dresses and rompers and overalls for the rest of the entire day, the rest of my life. And I think that would be a fun video too. Just the hunt for the perfect garden wear. Have any of you been around long enough where I got into a long wandering chat about how I feel like I could be jokingly, of course, a good cult leader. <laughs> it's all about wanting the commune living and the community, and it's like, this person's our basket weaver, and that person tends to the horses, and you know, sort of the village-esque. I'm sure everything would go wrong, but it was fun to just dream. I think about that Facebook post often because so many of you guys ran with me with it. We even came up with a tagline and a uniform for our cult. I think we were gonna wear culottes. I'd like to update that to being lovely linen rompers we were gonna be a very welcoming cult. Our tagline was gonna be, the kind of cult you wanna have coffee with. And I still like that. Anyways, uh, the real version of that is that I do want to live in what I deem as house dresses with a prairie flare. I'd like to wear aprons for no reason. In fact, I would like to bring back pinafores, like apron front dresses, like Alice in Wonderland. I want my own line of clothing, and that's what I would have. The aprons would have patch pockets on the front, and I would be a jolly happy soul. Surely somebody else out there wants this too. Maybe this is what I should do with my channel, just transition it all over into my little dream world. All right, do you do a shimmer on the inner corner? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Who knows? I'll take a little bit of this shimmer called Timber and a little bit of Solstice, which is a matte color, and just plunk it in there. Mommy? Yeah? Daddy. Where's 
things to put night night. Okay. Are you gonna go take a nappy? Yeah. I love you so much. I love my baby. Yeah. That was heartbreaking. We'll be reunited after you get your daddy changed, my doll. Really, it's doing a whole lot of nothing. Okay. I need assistance, but I don't have any. Um, I think I'm supposed to take a shimmer, a real good shimmer, and put it right in the middle of my eyelid, right? That brings in some of that dewy effect. Hi, my baby. Oh! Hi, my girl. Can I have a snuggle? Uh, oh, I love you. Oh, kisses. Did you have fun outside with Daddy? Yeah. You want to go through all my makeup, don't you? Don't dig your little fingers in it. It's so pretty. Oh, and she did. Already. That's how fast that happens with the Sadie June around. Dad. No, we're not going to play with makeup right now, my love. You need to. <laughs> she's settling herself in. And you need to go night night. And you need your face washed. Um, that. Um, this? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you put it in something? Okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Do you look so nice? That was Louise, by the way. <laughs> Channeling other people today. You look great. I love powder on my teeth the most. She is now powdering herself in the mirror. Does that Sadie look good? Okay, we're gonna close it up. Thank you. You go night night with daddy, okay? Okay. Where'd daddy go? Um, outside. Outside? Oh, yeah. No, he's in the bathroom. Oh. Oh. Say hi, I'm Sadie. I, I see. So can you say Sadie? Sadie, yeah. mommy. Sadie, mommy. Okay, say bye bye. Bye bye. Can I have the brush? <laughs> oh, thank you. Love you. Bye bye. I'm gonna need Christy to teach me how to use all this stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna put mascara on and leave my eyes alone for a little while and hope that it all sort of pulls together in the end. I was talking about my favorite garden garments sounding really culty because I found two dresses from um, Target that I absolutely love and they totally fit the vibe of what I want to do so I'm gonna put them on at the end with whatever manifestation or failure of peachy dewy I land on okay what is this mascara that I'm using I need an eyelash curler once again by Tarte the Tartiest it's called lash paint I do love all of these colors. I'm just feeling more like bronzed and sun-kissed than fresh peachy dewy. But let's add a little blush and see. This seems like the perfect blush. Once again, it's Amazonian clay. This is Tarte Captivating is the color. And I love the little stamp that Tarte puts in there. I've got so much cheek going on. I never know if I should really get the apples or just underneath them. When I put just the apples of my cheeks I feel like they're just so dang apple-y. Oh, that's pretty. I do like it. Peachy doo. Are any of you out there weirdos like me who love to follow homesteaders on YouTube? And if so, who? I literally put them on on my TV and let them play all the time and just hope some of their wisdom sinks into me as I'm fussing about with laundry and stuff like that. When I was a little girl, the second the power would go out, I would run as fast as I could because usually it was only a couple of minutes before the power popped back on. And I would put on my flannel nighty that had like the puffed sleeve and the tiny little flower posy things all over it, a little bit of lace up here. I would grab my brass candlestick that I saved my money to go buy at the Goodwill, save my own allowance money, and immediately be walking around the house in my flannels with a candlestick. It's who I've always been. But growing up, I always felt like I couldn't actually live that life because it seemed like a bygone era of pioneer days in the New West. Just because I live in the era of Tesla cars, social media, and drones doesn't mean I have to be about those things go get out my brass candlestick and go back to it. This looks like the perfect peachy dewy color. It is called cream. She also gave me, also by Tarte, these gorgeous, I think there's some sort of shears. They're called nude and coral. I'm gonna pop open the coral just cause I wanna see it. Ready? Oh, oh, that's very coral. Oh, I feel like maybe that alone would have been the perfect thing. Okay, she gave me eyebrows too. I am horrible at eyebrows. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to frustrate you. Let's all just take a deep breath and we'll get through this together. So my eyebrows are naturally thin like this. I've never really plucked them. Um, every once in a while I'll get close and get the really light ones that are far away, but I haven't done that in a long time. So if you're staring at them and grabbing a pair of tweezers next to your monitor because they're driving you nuts, I'm sorry. 
She gave me this. It is a Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. There's a little demo right there for me, so hopefully I can just make myself look like her. When I pull off the missile top, <laughs> That's the liner, and then the back end, it really does look like I should be playing darts or something. There's the spoolie. Whoopsie poops. I don't know. I wish I could be one of those people that can really pull off nice, thick, full brows that don't look like they're just drawn on. And maybe I am that person as far as my face goes, but I'm definitely not that person as far as my technique goes. In between cuts, I keep listening to Christy and Kat who are talking right now, and it's funny because they're talking about makeup. I love a full submersion experience like that, so it's fun to be playing with my own makeup while I'm listening to friends talk about their makeup. Today's makeup look brought to you by Kat Von D. Look at that oldie but goodie. Still using it every day. And for our eye look, I'm gonna bust out the old Kylie Cosmetics, which I never use. So it's one of those, I should use it because I never use it, but I don't love it. That's what kind of day it is today. I want to say done. This is very natural and very neutral and very nice, but it's just not hitting the mark yet. Okay, let's add a little highlight. Goes for the dewiness. Okay, right there. I'm, I'm now in old products. This is from the It Cosmetic palette. It's a cream highlight. This big old fatty one. There's that. Now I want to go further because it's too hard to stop. I'm going to take this little guy and I'm going to try and put some sort of highlightery color under my eyes, maybe. I feel like it's doing absolutely nothing. You know, when you watch a YouTuber and they just take the perfect little dot of something and just like press it into the center of their eye or they do one little touch that takes it over the top. That's just not happening for me. And it's okay because Peachy Dewey is supposed to look like a pretty natural look, but I want to effervesce. What's my one thing I can do to set it over the top? The highlight that I put on my, whatever this space is called, your frenulum, that might not be right. That could be like female anatomy. I don't actually know what this is called, but that little bit right there, it just looks like I have a runny nose. This didn't really hurt my head to have it up for that long. That's promising. The only really peachy dewy element that I feel like I nailed was the blush. So why don't we just keep going? Just keep going with the blush. Just put it wherever I want to put it. You find something that works, just layer it everywhere. Is that doing a thing? I feel like it might be working. I'm adding a whole lot of pink all the way up to my eyebrow and it's just blush, just everywhere. Just that's it. Am I? Is that better? I came to the window to get good lighting. Oh, and I see that Nini is here. Oh, you look so pretty. Happy 4th of July. Each year I change. <laughs> it was 2016, I just changed it. <laughs> You're so cute. I have to pretend my plastic bucket left over from my kids for Easter is a sunflower wicker basket that catches beautiful things. You gotta back up because I'm not getting the full length. No, that's this, better. Is this dress not peachy dewy? Look at this dress. It's totally peachy dewy. I love it so much. This is from Target. I am six feet tall and it graces the ground just perfectly. Ryan, are you getting it gracing mm. the ground? I'll do that one more time. Oh, the grace. And I really love the back. Just listen to the sweet sounds of a chicken squeezing an egg out its butt in the sirens. It's the perfect little garden dress. Without Ryan's assistance, but still garden adjacent, here is the other print. I love the ruffle at the bottom. Actually, I have a little note for you guys. I do have a homesteading day in the life video that I filmed, one of my like quiet, serene ones. It has hiccup in it, and I haven't been able to bring myself to edit it. Edited it, that's like the clasp thing again. Edit it although I really do want to because I want that memory and it's a lovely day it really encompasses the best of this world that I would like to encapsulate so I am gonna try and bring myself around to editing that video and hopefully you guys will have watched this so you won't be confused when you see hiccup anybody who doesn't know what I'm referencing I posted about it on my Instagram we lost our black and white bunny so um, now we're down to one. It's quite a bit of a heartbreak for our whole family. Moving on. Welcome to me becoming the storybook character that I've always dreamed of since I was a little girl, step by step and piece by piece. She grows things, she will learn to can things, she will pick things. Little things cluck at her and follow her about. She barns things. Amen, goodbye. 
without too much double chin waggle. Yeah, there's no waggle. He said that was like 